Aloha e malama ponu. We have a special guest today, Sensei John, who has a long history in the martial arts, and his daughter Christy is one of our regular students here, and they're visiting Hawaii from the mainland. Now, he has quite a history. He trained with Oshima Sensei and Shotokan Karate and several other great instructors, wow. including Chuck Norris. So, John, tell us some of your martial arts story. Well, train, well one of Chuck's top students was Clyde Mills. And he and Clyde and I got to be really close friends. Clyde would chain, train with us at Long Beach City College in the Shotokan Karate Club. And then I would go with Clyde to chain, train with, with Chuck. Uh, and so from Chuck, I learned a spinning back kick, which is definitely not taught in the Japanese Shotokan style. And I actually won a tournament using one of Chuck's spinning back kicks. And boy, did Mr. Oshima get mad at me. Never <laughs> turn your back on an opponent. I kind of like that. Well, I got this five foot trophy. I kind of did okay, but I didn't argue with Mr. Oshima. That would have been deadly. Uh, another time, uh, we had a special training camp up in the mountains for three days, and we had ordeal after ordeal. For example, 50 of us or so stood in a circle at a kubadachi, a horse stance, for an hour and a half. Oh, wow. And that was, that was, it was really tough. Some people passed out, and poor Chuck was not warned ahead of time that that would be one of the terrifying things we'd participate in. So he was in great shape, but he hadn't prepared to do it for 90 minutes. But he hung in there and did a great job. And Chuck, if you see this, you'll certainly remember what, ha what happened there. Uh, and so I was very impressed with your integrity and your determination to fight through something that you hadn't been prepared for. I remember the night before the Long Beach International Tur Tournament, remember that when my big best friend, Brent, uh, and you and uh, Clyde and I we went out to dinner the night before one of Ed Parker's international tournaments, and you just had, you treated us to dinner, and you were, even though you were nervous, it was, I, I said jokingly to you, uh, Chuck, you're not nervous about this tournament, and he said, you're kidding, I, I'm going to be sick to my stomach, I'm, I'm just, real, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight, I said, wait a minute, Chuck, you're nervous? You've been on the cover of Black Belt Magazine, you've won all sorts of tournaments, you're just really great, and you're expected to win too. And he said, well, yeah, but I'm still scared to death. I'm still nervous. And that taught me, I just really appreciated you teaching me that, because I kind of had this illusion that if I got good enough in karate and aikido and jiu-jitsu and all the other stuff I was involved with, I wouldn't have any fear anymore. But you taught me it was okay to have fear. Fear is part of life. And yet you can still fight through it if you need to.